Hello, here is the Hoover Max Extract All-Terrain Carpet Cleaner. Um, I got this on Amazon and I got also the detergent from there. Um, I'm actually in the process of cleaning the carpet in the basement from after it uh, flooded. Um, so we were able to keep the carpet, it wasn't too bad. And uh, so I got this and I'm now cleaning it. You can see from where I left off over here and then over here I've, I've done so far. And um, they say to fill this up with hot water. This is the where the clean water goes. So I had this filled up all the way up here with my hot tap water. Um, and then the detergent I put 10 ounces in. It says to put five ounces per one gallon. Um, so anyway, uh, so far, it seems like going, going, um, going from that end of the of the basement all the way over here is going to take up the whole tank. So you can see this practically always finished, and it will finish it, I'm sure, by the time I get over to the wall over there, um, as well as the detergent. So um, here's the dirty water tank down here, and it's getting pretty close to having to empty it as well. So um, once that's emptied, once I need to empty it, I'll have to take this top off, which all you do is press this down and this comes right off. And then you'll be able to get down here and push this down and get this off as well. Actually, it's through these latches right here. And one, one here and one on the other side, you just pull this out and then you're able to take this out and then empty it. And then you're ready to go for the next time. Um, so it seems like uh, I'll have to replace this with um with taking out the dirty water and also putting new water in here and detergent um several times because i have this basement down here it's about 300 square feet of space so um so far it that, i mean it smells really nice even right now and it definitely looks cleaner there was some um spots on here over here on this area, um, but uh, wasn't real bad. This isn't like a a real dirty carpet as it is, because I actually cleaned the carpet before we moved into this town home, but just because of the water and having to roll this up before um, the yeah, remediation coming could come out, I just got dirty somewhat. As you can see right here, is it is dirty. So, I mean, so far it's been been running really well. Um, it has the auto rinse, so pretty much you just go forward with it. What you pull down the trigger, and you go forward, and you keep holding down the trigger. You go back, and you do, and you let go of the trigger, and you go forward and back again to suck up all the, the detergent and water. So why don't I um, do a couple strokes here? You can see how loud it is. It's pretty loud, but it's typical for these kind of machines. Um, so you just press down your foot get that down um, and so uh, one thing I want you to notice here is that when I let go from the, the stroke back when I let go of the, the trigger you'll notice there will be um, somewhat of detergent left over at the back um, there isn't really a way to avoid that except just to you know when you go over the dry stroke just go back a little farther to get it so here we go leftovers like I was saying.
I'll just shut that off here for a minute. Um, just going over the machine a little bit. Um, there's a carrying handle right underneath here. You can grab here and pick it up. It also has your upholstery tool stored right here, as well as other storage for your tools back here. Um, right here for getting the stairs and the squeegee for when you get the hardwood. And it also came with a longer brush. There's these green brushes right here, but you can remove that and put on the white ones that it comes with so you can get the hardwood. Um, haven't done the hardwood yet, but I will come to you with another video showing you how that it works with that. And as far as putting it on and everything. Um, the hose here is for the whole, the whole street. I took it off because it was wrapped around here. It's meant to go right in here and go around, but it's just um, a pain because it's like half falling off and everything getting in the way. So I just took it off while I'm doing it. It's just more for storage. Um, that I don't really like about it. Uh, this piece here had to be just clipped on when it came with it, just for the cord, wrapping it up and around. Um, it has a rinse only setting, but this just is an auto rinse. It knows when you're going backwards just to suck it up, as you can see. And then the three settings right here for spill pickup, gentle scrub, and power scrub, which power scrub is what you need it on for. Um, for doing the carpets and then right here is you open this up and put the, the hose down in there so that's what you um, would do for that if hooking that up which when I go to the steps I can add this to this video um, just to show you how that is put on and, and done so um, um, it seems like it's working really well um, I will also show you in the upstairs when I get that done because the upstairs uh, it's a more higher trafficked area I don't have the spray for it to pre-treat it, but I'll I'll show you how it is with not without pre-treating it and see how how well that works. So, all right, I'll come to you. All right, I'm back and um, I now I'm going to be doing the stairs. Um, but before I do, I already have this hooked up. Um, but the the hose that I had from before that I um, that was attached back here, but I took off and just put it somewhere else. Um, one end just. It, this thing comes right up here. Let me just show you. So, so you just pull this thing up, and then hold on a sec. So this just goes down in here, and these clips right here, pull them out, and they grip down in so that so it doesn't come out. So that one's in there now, and then there's this cord that plugs in the side here. Um, so at this point, like you would take. This one right here, so it's nice that it's just stored right here. Um, hold on a sec. There we go. So this just comes out like that. See how it just comes just up like that and then okay. come out. And I will now attach it. Hold on one sec. Hold on. Okay, so now it's ready to go. Um, it has, uh, has uh, everything set up here. It has a trigger, okay, there we go. So the trigger right here, and then the scrubs and detergent comes right out the top here. So I'll go ahead and give this a whirl and I'll come right back at you. All right, so I got done the, the first top half of the stairs. Um, I wanted to note to you um, how to use this thing. Um, it's kind of tricky at first, at least I thought. Um, you want to have it be about one inch above the, above the carpet, and then you'll hold down the trigger, which is right here. And you'll hold it down, go forward, keep holding it and you go press down slightly into the carpet and then you go back and then let go of the trigger and then you do you know a couple strokes to to pick up the rest of the, the water um, detergent there so the same principle as um, the regular, un regular unit but um, when the, the brushes are spinning it kind of like makes it want to go like to the side so you gotta just really hold it down um, and I also noticed that when it sprays, 
it's pretty somewhat evenly, but it kind of goes out to the sides a little bit more than what it should. And then when you go, like, when you hold it down to go back with washing it, it does spray out the back here onto the next stairs, which is kind of annoying in a way, but that's just how it is. So I'll go ahead and show you how exactly it is when it's, when it's doing it. Um, so here we go. So there's just a little bit of it. Um, you can see down here that this is from all the top step and then from down here so you know it's working right because it's picking up the, the dirty water there. Um, and then the, the settings are still the same as if you're doing the carpet too which you can see my carpet now after I finish with it. Um, does look really nice. Um, looks clean. It definitely smells good. Um, so I'll go ahead and finish with the rest of this. Now, I, for those of you still watching this, I um, wanted to say about the, the rug doctor, because the rug doctor, I rented it before moving in here. And uh, so it was about 50 bucks that I rented it. Um, and it's a very loud machine. And to be honest, I'd rather do it with this. Not only are you saving the money in the long run, but um, you're also... Look, you know, doing just as good a job. I think it's doing just as good, if not better, than the rug doctor. And when you're renting the rug doctor, the the unit itself is all dirty. It doesn't seem like they really come out to clean the units after each use, or even after a couple uses, it's all dirty in there anyway. So, um, you know, half the time I don't even know if the dirty water that I'm pouring out of the rug doctor is is uh, I just dirt from in the machine that from last time so I would uh, just recommend going with the Hoover here um, great machine uh, I mean the hose is long enough to go up probably about half the steps so you're going to have to move the machine to the top of the stairs to then get the other half um, so there you have it with the machine um, feel free to ask any questions um, if you want me to show you uh, more of this machine in a certain way, just feel free to um, ask me, um, do a comment. All right, well, have a great day. Hello, here is the Hoover Max Extract All Terrain Carpet Cleaner. Um, I got this on Amazon and I got also the detergent from there. Um, I'm actually in the process of cleaning the carpet in the basement from after it uh, flooded. Um, so we were able to keep the carpet, it wasn't too bad. And uh, so I got this and I'm now cleaning it. You can see from where I left off over here and then over here I've, I've done so far. And um, they say to fill this up with hot water. This is the where the clean water goes. So I had this filled up all the way up here with my hot tap water. Um, and then the detergent I put 10 ounces in. It says to put five ounces per one gallon um so anyway uh so far it seems like going going um going from that end of the of the basement all the way over here is going to take up the whole tank so you can see it's practically always finished and it will finish it i'm sure by the time i get over to the wall over there um as well as the detergent so um here's the dirt